Uh, hi everyone. In this video, I will provide you the solution for the question that we had in the midterm of the linear control theory course. The first question was to uh, think about the plot diagram of the system which is provided here as the uh, closed loop feedback system and determine the value of k as the first question. Is the first part of the question. Determine the value of k such that the resulting under damped closed loop system has the rise time for the step response equal to 0.36. So let's see how we can do this. As the first step, we need to find out the equivalent system for this internal feedback that we have. So let's let me just turn on the guidelines. So let's see how we can do it. I will redraw it here. So we have k over s minus 17. And we have 1 in the feedback s. The sign of the feedback is negative. To find out the equivalent transfer function for this, we have k over s minus 17 over 1 plus, because we have negative feedback, 1 times k over s minus 17, which results in k over s minus 17 plus k. Or in other words, we have k over s plus k minus 17. We can replace it uh, with, with this part of the block diagram for our system. As a result, we will have this uh, block diagram system. 1 over s k over s plus k minus 17, the point of entry of the disturbance, and the unity negative feedback. Again, we can rewrite this in this form, R, k over s times s plus k minus 17 disturbance and unity negative feedback. Now we want to have this situation. Our second order closed loop system needs to have the rise time equal to 0.36 seconds. And we assume that we have the underdamped system. Uh, for underdamped systems, For the second order under them system, we have rise times around 1.8 over omega n. And as a result, omega n should be equal to 1 over 8 over rise time. Rise time is provided as 3.6 seconds as the requirement, and from here we can see that omega n should be equal to 5. The standard uh, second order system that we have could be written in the form of omega n squared over s squared plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n squared. For the system that we have here, if we find out so here we have the output signal C. If we found C over R, the closed loop transfer function from the reference input to the output, we will have K over S times S plus K minus 17 over 1 plus K over S times S plus K minus 17. And this will result in k over 
s squared plus s times k minus 17 plus k, which is the closed loop transfer function from the reference to the output. And now if we compare these two with each other, obviously we get k equal to omega n squared and k minus 17 equal to 2 zeta omega n. And since we need to have omega n equal to 5, from here we will have k equal to 25. And as a result, 2 zeta omega n equal to 25 minus 17, which is 8. And we can also say zeta omega n is equal to 4. And accordingly, zeta is equal to 4 over 5 or 0 0.8. So this is so we, now we are done with the first part. What is the value of k? We say that k is equal to 25. What's the settling time? Two person settling time. We we have since we deal with the uh, under than second order system, settling time two person is around 4 over zeta omega n. And here our zeta omega n is equal to 4, as we have found here. So we have 4 over 4. And as a result, settling time is equal to 1 second. So we have the answer to this part of the question as well. Ts2% is equal to 1 second for this value of k. Now we need to draw the pos zero map and obtain the damping ratio zeta. Damping ratio zeta is already obtained, as we have it here, 0 0.8. However, we can uh, do it again here. So we have the closed loop transfer function given as omega n squared, which is 25, over s squared plus 2 zeta omega n, which is equal to 8 replacing k with uh, 25 plus 25. The poles of this system are located at minus 8 plus minus square root of 64 minus 100 over 2. And from here we have minus 4 plus minus j or i 6 over 2 which is 3. So here we have the pos zero map for the system at minus four and j three minus j three. We have two poles here. We can find the value of zeta according to the location of the poles and poles of the system as well. So we know that this angle here, theta, is equal to uh, cosine of theta. Cosine of theta is equal to zeta. For this triangle, we know that here we have 4, here we have 3, and as a result, the, the length of this part of the uh, triangle will be equal to 5. And we already know that omega n is equal to 5 as well. Yeah? So we know that it's 5. So cosine of theta will be equal to 4 over 5 or 0 0.8. Okay, so we are done with, with this part as well. Zeta is equal to 0 0.8 for that value of the k. Now let's take into account the next part of the question. Indeed, this is this should be D and this should be E. We, we want to obtain the steady state error when D is equal to 0, so there is no disturbance, and R1 is equal to 0.5 UT, R2 is equal to 2 UT. So here we can assume that we are uh, using the same value of the K as 25, or we can take general k into account. Let's take the general k into account. 
therefore we, we have this situation so loop transfer function l of s is equal to k over s times s plus k minus 70 and we want to find out the steady state value of the error which is limit of e of t as t goes towards infinity so one thing here is that by looking at this loop transfer function we uh, we, we know that the type of the system is one because we have one pole at the origin now for this we know that for the unit step references for the step reference steady state error should be equal to zero and for ramp reference for the unit ramp reference we have steady state error equal to 1 over kv where kv is the limit of s L of s is going towards zero so we can refer to this and find out the steady state value of the error for this for, for this uh, system however we can do it in the general way as well by replacing the value of e uh, coming from the block diagram system so this is equal to limit of s e of s as s goes towards zero and for e we have e of s is equal to r minus c assuming that t is equal to zero and we have r minus c is the output of the closed loop system so we have l over one plus l times r and if we rewrite this we will have r times 1 minus l over 1 plus l and as a result we will have 1 over 1 plus l of s times r of s so we have e equal to 1 over 1 plus l times r then we can replace this in into the, the limit and find out the value for the steady state error the first signal that we have r1 of t is equal to 0.5 ut as a result r1 of s will be equal to 0.5 over s and accordingly the steady state error will be the limit of s times e of s 1 over 1 plus l of s times r of s 0.5 over s as s goes towards zero so this s s will be cancelled by each other and we will have limit of 0 0.5 over 1 plus l of s as s goes towards zero and looking at the l of s that we have here we see that limit of L of s as s goes towards zero is equal to infinity because there is s at the denominator as a result the steady state error in this case will be equal to zero the next input r2 is given as let me go back and double check it two times t u t two t u t therefore r2 of s is equal to 2 over s squared steady state value of the error is equal to limit of s times 1 over 1 plus l of s times 1 over s squared 2 over s squared as s goes towards 0 so this is r of s s in the numerator and denominator will be cancelled out and we will have steady state error equal to limit of 1 over s plus s times l of s as s goes towards 0 which is equal to limit of 1 over s times l of s as s goes towards 0 and limit of s times l of s we know looking at the l of s we know it it's equal to k over k minus 17 so we have 1 over k over k minus 17 and as a result the steady state error in this case would be equal to uh, we have a 2 here we have 2 here so we have 
2 times k minus 17 over k. If you replace k with 25, you will get the numerical value for that value of k. All right, so we are done with this section of the question. And then we have only the last part, obtain the steady state error when r is equal to 0 and t is equal to u or t u t. So again, we can refer to the type of the system and discuss about this, but as, an, as another general, let's say, solution, let's find out steady state error in terms of t. So when r is equal to 0, we have e of s equal to minus c of s. And we know that C of S is equal to D plus E times L of S. So if I redraw the, the block diagram system, here we have L of S, D plus plus, here we have C and, uh, and from here we have V with the negative sign. C and this is signal E. So E is equal to minus C, C is equal to D plus E times L of S. So if you replace C with, with what we have over there, E will be equal to minus D plus E times L, E of S times 1 plus L of S is equal to minus D of S. And as a result, E is equal to minus 1 over 1 plus L times D. The steady state error is equal to limit of S times E of S as S goes towards 0. And this is equal to limit of S times minus 1 over 1 plus L of S times D of S as S goes towards 0. We have D1 equal to ut, the step uh, signal. As a result, d1 s is equal to 1 over s. Steady state error is equal to limit of s going towards 0, minus 1 over 1 plus l of s. So here we have s times this, times d of s. These s's will be cancelled out with each other. So we will have limit of minus 1 over 1 plus l of s as s goes towards 0. Here we will have infinity and as a result the, the steady state error will be equal to 0. As the second option d is equal to t u t or d of s is equal to 1 over s squared, steady state error will be equal to limit of s times minus 1 over 1 plus l of s times d of s as s goes towards 0 and this will be equal to limit of s going towards 0 minus 1 over s plus s times l of s which is equal to the limit of minus 1 over s times l of s limit of s times l of s we already know as s goes towards 0 this will be equal to k over k minus 17 and as a result, the steady state error in this case will be equal to minus k minus 17 over k. You can replace k with 25 and find the numerical value for that value of the k. Okay, so I think we are done with, with this part of the question as well. And that's all for this video. You see how to solve this uh, question. Thanks for watching and see you next.